Welcome back to the news up here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. New doubts emerge from evidence collected by the Mars Curiosity rover about the existence of life on the red planet. Here to explain it, and it's always a pleasure when he's here, is Wall Street Journal senior science writer Lee Holtz. Thank you very much for being here, sir. It's always a pleasure. Now, you know, for more than a century, scientists, science fiction buffs have longingly gazed on Mars as possibly a place in our solar system other than Earth itself that could harbor some form of life. Well, NASA scientists who operate the Mars mm. Curiosity rover today dealt those hopes a serious blow by reporting that they have tried and failed to find any trace of the gas methane in the atmosphere of Mars. And the reason we care about this it's is it's because me methane is a key biomarker for the for for biological activity i mean 95 percent of the methane in the air on earth comes mm. from some form of biological activity microbes that that uh, exude methane or organic decay and especially in the last decade there have been a number of uh, observatories on earth using infrared telescopes mm. and even an orbiter uh, european space agency probe that's orbiting mars have purported to detect traces plumes indeed of methane coming from Mars and this has really fueled a lot of speculation that there are microbes there you know in the soil of this very cold and arid place and what NASA is saying today is like hard luck fellows no they've looked uh, systematically uh, six separate uh, tests with a special laser uh, sensor they have on board the rover uh, since landing last August and they have not even been able to find a single part per billion in the part, air. Let's get that right. Well, not even one part in, in a billion. But there's a, great, there's a great quote in your story. It says, there's a puzzle here. This is um, astrobiologist Michael Moomer at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. And he says, you know, we've seen this with the infrared stuff. So and we're sticking with the data. So clearly, they're not backing down here, are they? Well, you know, nobody is backing down. And I don't question their sincerity. But even before today's uh, reading was reported, there was a lot of doubt about these readings, these observations mm. that, that are being defended now. And they actually tend to contradict each other a little bit. It's, it is, though, a real puzzle. And, you know, the people who are worried most, I think, today, Simon, are the, the people who are running the Indian Mars program. Mm. Uh, India is scheduled to launch its first interplanetary probe to Mars in part to detect methane in a couple of months. And that's going to be followed closely by a... Uh, a billion dollar mission by the European Space Agency in Russia's Roscosmos to also send a probe to Mars to find methane. So I think is this scientific paper about uh, this inability to find the gas starts to circulate, these people are going to start to sweat. It's very interesting and I'm, I'm sure we'll have lots more controversy over this. It will make a great, um, great discussions. Always a pleasure. Thank Lee you, host. sir.